Hello, yes, the time is now for British nationalism, given that UKIP's on its last legs. UKIP now is suffering internal problems, leadership challenges, personality clashes, in fact, the same ills British nationalism has suffered the past 40 years, and we know who's to blame. MI5 and its two criminal outfits, Jerry Gable, Saitla Magazine, Nick Laws, Hope Not Hate, they're doing to UKIP what they've been doing to the BMP and the National Front the past 40 years. You see, the powers that be thought they could make a, um, a shrewd move by promoting UKIP to replace the BMP, which they did. But unbeknown to them, promoting UKIP brought Brexit. But it hasn't totally blown up in the face of the establishment, because what they're doing now, they're bringing UKIP down now. They used UKIP to replace the BMP and it's now time to bring UKIP down. Did UKIP ever really believe the powers that be were going to let them keep on sailing higher and higher? No, you must be very naive. You were used to bring down the BMP. Yes, you Nigel Farage and all the rest of the UKIP is right. You were used to bring down the BMP. Now it's your turn to be brought down because you've saved your purpose and also, like I said in previous videos, for Theresa May, Vincent Price to betray on Brexit, UKIP must first be brought down and that's what's happening. But had the BMP stayed intact, maybe minus all its elected officials, we could have lived with that. Stayed intact, had all the organisers, all the activists in all the towns and cities up and down the country, ready to spring into action when the call came, we could have moved into the position UKIP is now. Couldn't we? Of course. And how ironic would that have been? That would have been really something blowing up in the uh, face of the establishment and the security service and its two criminal proxies, right? Imagine that, how ironic would that have been? Using UKIP to replace the BMP, bringing UKIP down, then the BMP replacing UKIP, back to square one, except with unlimited opportunities for us now. Sadly, this is not going to be the case at the moment. Nick Griffin, Yes, UKIP replaced the BMP, I'll have that, you're right, but you handed the BMP over, lock, stock and battle, to the enemies of British nationalism, that way for the security services and Jerry Gable and Nick Lowe's. You handed it over to spies, Adam Walker and Clive Jefferson. You handed it over to them. Yes, the BMP, uh, UKIP was used to replace the BMP, but it didn't bring it down. Your folly, your neglect, your lack of care, I don't know what it was, maybe one day you'll tell us, I don't know what it, what it is right or what it was why you allowed this to happen maybe one day you'll tell us but all the same all the same you handed the bmp over to our enemies right but anyway anyway so you can see now what has happened and it really is quite clear but there is still hope there is still hope ukip will indeed be brought down and even if it wasn't brought down it would never cross the line that needs to be crossed to deal with the coming problems or chaos and nightmare that's about to uh, descend upon this country. There's going to be more suicide bombings, more trucks mounting the pavement running all people over, more towns and cities being torn apart by multiracial gangs, the whole lot, the whole package. Our country is going to go down quicker than you can imagine, quicker than you can say Jerry Gable or Nick Lowe's. It's going to be going up in flames soon. And this is where we come in now, British nationalism. Right, because let me tell you something now. When this country really goes belly up, the God fearing, law abiding ethnic minorities will be running to us to save them, to help them, to sort this out. Well, if it's not us, who do they go to? Sadiq Khan, they can't go to them, they're responsible. People like him, the Tories, Theresa May, so who do they go to? They have to come to us, but we've got to present it with a human face, right? In the past, our enemies have. Uh, created that face for us and betrayed it to the public which has scared the living daylights out of them why do you believe the powers that be have invested so much time efforts money spy man hours professionalism sophisticated in derailing us in creating tommy robinson paul golding dash action and then clowns now selling on the mediterranean defend europe generation identity because they knew the potential that we had if we were to keep our act together right and sail uh, through the stormy waters and keep ourselves together. They knew better than us our own potential. We didn't. We've underestimated our own potential. Our enemies haven't. 
So the time is now for British nationalism, right? And as I say, with the BNP intact, we could have just walked into UKIP's shoes, where it is now, because UKIP's about to be brought down. Like I've said, there's two reasons. It served its purpose of replacing the BNP, and also to betray on Brexit, they've got to bring UKIP down first. So the time is now for British nationalism. Okay, thank you.